seed haul video but I just have to share something with you look at my onions I am highly influenced by Charles Darwin only thing is I never twisted any of them out so that's the size they got to and they're ready to harvest but I'm in Southern California so the safest place for them until I eat them is right you're gonna there. make the world's quickest salsa the world's quickest salsa. Now, if I had more tomatoes, I would double the tomatoes in the recipe, but I don't have more tomatoes. So I'm gonna use, these cloves are kind of small, so I'm using three, see how tiny that one is? But one or two cloves of garlic, like that. We're doing this in the blender. Just take the peel off of your garlic after you smash it. You peel it and you stick it in the blender. Last one. There we go. Very satisfying technique there. And I am using one inch of jalapeno with no seeds, none of that. If you had a big blender or food processor, you could stick these tomatoes in whole, and that would be in one sense quicker, but I think if you use a food processor, you gotta clean it. This is quick because I don't have to clean it. You know, a blender is quicker than a food processor because of cleanup. All I have to do is rinse out this unit here, and I'm done, you know, so that's quick. I think I'll start with that much. I'm gonna make all of this, but my container here may not contain more than that. And because I'm using the blender, I'm using the stem part, which will be juiced down. And then I can use the fresh cilantro for um, putting over salads and tacos and different things like that. Stems will give all the flavor in this mixture here. I am going to use two additional tomatoes and another onion. This is just all my blender will hold. In fact, I'm going to have to take some of this out because the blender is too full. So I'll take a tomato out because I want my onion flavor in there. There we go. But before I'm finished, all this will be in my blender. And this is how I make my sauce. My little other secret. Taking this whole lime, and you wanna roll it. That makes it juicy. And you cut it. And this is a bear's lime, so there are no seeds in there. I'm putting the skin and all into my salsa. Yeah, you use a little that. bit of water just to get the blades going a little quicker. This will blend without water, but I add a little water to okay. get it started. Here we go. <laughs> There's room. As I told you, all the tomatoes will be added. I'm adding the tomatoes because I want it to be salsa colored. So I'm adding my tomatoes so that my salsa has the color I want. Um, I think that's all I can add for now. But if you could do it all at once, this is just regular old table salt just to perk up the flavors in there. This good old salsa.
So my salsa is mild salsa. I have a little jalapeno in there to flavor it, but it's not hot at all. So, you know, a person who doesn't like any chili might not rave about it, but nobody's going to burn their mouth on that salsa right there. It's delicious. Now, the other half of my lime here, I'm just going to put a little of, uh, squeeze the, the lime juice in there because I don't want to waste it. But the lime rind gives you a lot more lime flavor than the um, than the juice does. So this has a lot more flavor to it than the salsa that doesn't use the rind. The seeds are in there. Everything's in there. And there's my quick salsa. It's great on your nachos, your tacos, your burritos, everything, you know. And I want to show you cleanup so you don't think, well, yeah, it's a little bit of dish soap. And that's cleanup right there. That's clean. See the container here? That's all you need. Make sure there's no particles. It's just like washing out your bowl that you ate with no picking out no blades and all that kind of crap. We are all of our disease, Kelly Sharon Howard, my Bella Wilson. We are all of our disease in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Psalms 107 and Amen. 20. Lord, this is you. He sent his word and healed now me. We just dip our little salsa here onto our taco. You can use it on your nachos. Ooh, that's good. Oh, I wish you could taste it. It's so good. And it's easy. This is also a salsa recipe you could cook if you wanted to. But um, salsa on everything. Oh, yeah. Where is the nacho party? That recipe will be coming. Guess what? I'm still here. Jesus loves you. And I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.